So I'm back with the same example with a being 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and B being whatever you see here 1, 2, 1, 6, 2, 3 and 4, 2, 1. So I would like to go ahead and then find the product of these two matrices, the old high school width. Alright, so my dimension here is going to be 3 because the matrix is 3 cross 3. I'm going to put dim equals 3 and go ahead with the same logic as I did with matrix addition. Just that this is not going to be addition but multiplication as I continuing my little joke from the previous uh, few videos. Multiplication, how I wish it was component wise just the way addition was. Unfortunately, it is not and the reasons are very deep. If you understand some amount of matrix theory or linear algebra, you will realize the very requirement for this kind of a weird multiplication with I throw multiplied with the jth column and then finding the dot product and making an entry in Cij. Uh, that sounds a little complicated. So I would like to make a comment. I put a hash then say C of I comma J I comma J is written this way is the dot product of we have seen what's the dot product right dot product of the ith row of A and the jth column of B that's all stare at this very two lines for some time I'll, I'll repeat it because this should, this should sink into our minds unless this sinks in we will not be able to write the code okay I do not know how to write the code so I am trying to make this way, uh, two lines sink into my mind so what is it so I'm trying to see that I'm sort of talking to myself okay C of i j should be the dot product of the i throw of a so I picked i throw of a and then jth column of b and take the dot product and fill in the one fill in just one entry in C which is i jth entry so as I was explaining before the 0 0th entry in C will involve 0 0th 0th row of A and 0th column of B please note it's the 0th row of A and the 0th column of B so C of 2 comma 3 okay, let me just write that down just so that I practice it second row and first column of C right will be the second row second row of A and first column first column of B I need to take the dot product now here we have everything in pieces I told you how to find the dot product of two vectors rather lists here we have lists as you can see this is matrix A and this is matrix B and we'll go ahead and find the product. Okay, so let me try my luck here. So the dimension of the matrix is 3. The dimension is 3 as you can note. So I'll say for I in range dimension. What does it even mean? For J in range dimension. I need to find out all entries of C. So I go through i from 0 to 2, 0, 1, 2, j from 0, 1, 2 and I should fill in the values of c of i, j which by the way is initiated to 0 here. So what I should now do is I, I will simply say c of i, j is what is it dot product of ith row of i, a and jth column of B how do I put the jth column of B column is it comes on the right side right row comes on the left side okay so of course how I wish it understood English like this dot product of a i and B j okay a i where column varies ith row and this can be anything and B column where the row can be anything by that I mean row varies from 0 1 2 3 up to the dimension in this case 2 okay and j is fixed here please note j and i are fixed for a given ij here I need to compute this here is the time when you should pause the video and think how do you code this particular thing so what I'll do is I'll comment this or maybe 
put it down here just so that you are not confused on what I am going to uh, type next. So this very thing needs to be translated onto a program. So just watch. All I am trying to do is this will be another variable. This will be another variable. Remember the video that I just explained before this video clip? right it was k here the variable k here if it's confusing here then probably you must watch the video that i just now recorded and then come back here once again so c of i j is equal to a of i k so k keeps varying you see into a of sorry b of k j am i right yes i and j here once it enters here i and j are fixed but then k varies k varies from what k must vary for k in range dim dimension okay i must put another tab here so c of ij is a of ik times b of kj but then you know you know how we computed the dot product we took sum equals dot product equals dot product plus a of i a, 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 a of i into b of j whatever we did there i mean with the lists you see so i should the c of i j keeps you you keep getting the value a i k into b k j this you multiply and you should keep doing this across different values of k and keep adding that to c of i j which means think for a minute maybe this is a confusion point don't worry, if you stare at it for a few minutes, you'll get through. I should write C of ij equals C of ij plus A of ik into B of kj. Things appear very complicated. But trust me, mathematics is common sense made complicated. Right? It is like going one step ahead, one step ahead, one step ahead from simplicity and boom, you fall into complexity right okay so uh, this is very clear i mean i somehow console you people by telling that things are easy but it's appearing difficult but i i generally don't know how to you know break this even simpler don't worry we always have our forums to discuss which exact minute which exact exact second do you have a question and, and you can post the question and I, I'll, I'll be happy to answer uh, me or my TAs will, my, my instructors will be happy to answer. So this should do the trick now. I will go ahead and execute this. If my luck serves good today, I will be able to get an answer. So I got the answer, but I'm not displaying the answer. So I should say <laughs> print C and there I go, 12, 25. Let me check this first row with first column, one into one. So let me just type that here and then see. 1 into 1 okay plus anyway operator precedence is always there you don't put this but still let me put this 1 into 1 plus 2 into 6 correct 2 first row and first column I think it's clear to you people I'll go ahead 2 into 6 first row and first column first row of A and first column of B what is the dot product plus 3 times 4 okay sorry what is this let me check this 25 and i'm indeed getting 25 here wonderful okay now i'll tell you another way in which you can check whether it is right or wrong okay <laughs> bear with me after this you all will you know live a sigh of uh, relief and and probably punch me on my face if i'm around <laughs> i'll tell you why look at this i'll say import numpy and then I have my matrix A here already, right? I executed the code, so A is already stored here, right? I have my matrix B here, right? It's a list. If I say M, a matrix M, let's say matrix X is equal to numpy mat of A, what this does, it converts the matrix A into the numpy mat format. What is numpy? Numpy is a very brilliant library function in which 90% of the machine learning that, that I have learned, I have tried coding in my um, days, in my student days. I have used numpy 90%. You know, it has everything that you need to know to do some good amount of, uh, uh, you know, machine learning and image processing and computer vision and whatnot. All right? It also has some very beautiful matrix routines. Right, so I say x equals numpy mat a and then y equals numpy mat b. This is just converting 
the list A onto a matrix type where it is understood that A is list of lists. Now you say print x, x times y, boom, it shows you the matrix. 25, 12, exactly the same matrix as you can see. 58, 30, 25, 91, 48, 40, 91, 48, 40. And now you know why you want to punch me on my face. <laughs> That's because if it's so easy to multiply, why on earth are you doing such a big circus? I go back to my same old logic. You should learn how to code from first principles. I hope you understood how matrix or uh, matrix multiplication is carried out by this complicated three four loops if you don't understand don't worry at all even I took some time I remember in my student days when I first encountered this long 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 back when I first was introduced to a programming language I was asked to multiply two matrices addition was so easy but multiplication took many many folds more time I will not be surprised if it's if you get it if you're getting it right in the first hit itself then you have misunderstood it <laughs> you should struggle you must find it confusing with time only you will understand this just irritate a good 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 uh, tip as I've been giving you people is to keep doing the same same program again and again right I mean uh, erase this entire thing and then type it again erase it once more and then type it again you will stumble you will you will struggle there will be hurdles there will be humps and uh, potholes but still you will realize how to code it from first principles from your uh, uh, right from your fingers onto the keyboard right so that's the way you should uh, learn and not see and then type maybe you can see this and then type once but then close everything and write it in your own way.